Hello, math friends. Welcome to A Squared Math and Stuff. In this example, we are looking to solve for the inverse of a three by three matrix. And we are given this matrix here. And in order to set it up with our double augmented matrix, it looks like this because we use our given matrix on the left, the identity matrix on the right. And again, we are looking to apply elementary row operations to get the left-hand side to be the identity matrix and the right-hand side will end up being our inverse matrix. So let's go ahead and begin that process. The first thing we wanna do is get a zero in the row three, column one position because we already have a zero in the row two, column one. So if we just add uh, row one to row three, we can get that zero here because negative three plus three adds to zero. So let's go ahead and add row one to row three. Let me set that up for you. I hope you don't mind that I am cutting out the parts of the video where I am just rewriting some rows to keep this a little bit shorter so you don't have to fast forward as much. Uh, so what we are looking at here is just adding row one to row three. Adding negative three plus three gives us our zero. We'll have two plus zero, we'll have two. And then negative three plus a negative three gives us negative six. One plus zero gives us one. Zero plus zero is zero. And then finally, zero plus one gives us one. So notice that this elementary row operation the negative, or I'm sorry, the row one plus row three applied all the way across for this double augmented matrix. And we added the entire row one to the entire row three. So that's the process that we're going to go use all the way down. Now let's go ahead and work on uh, converting this two into a zero. In order to do that, we will take two times row two and then add it to row three. So let me go ahead and rewrite row one and two. Multiplying row two by two, we will have zero, negative two, negative two, zero, two, and zero. And then adding it to row three, we have zero plus zero, negative two plus two gives us zero, negative two plus negative six will give us a negative eight, zero plus one, two plus zero, and zero plus one gives us one. I could work on making this negative eight a one, but because I'm working on solving for the inverses, oops, sorry about that, uh, because I'm working on solving for the inverses, I'm going to leave this because if I divide out that negative eight or multiply by a negative one eighth, I'm going to end up with fractions in all of these. And now I'm working backwards, uh, working up. So if I make fractions here, I'm going to work with fractions for the rest of my solving. What I'm going to focus on doing instead is making this negative one a zero by using the negative eight along the same process that we've been doing previous to this. So what we will end up doing is multiplying uh, row three by a negative one and adding that to eight times row two. Negative row three gives us zero, zero, positive eight, negative one, negative two, negative one. We want to add that to eight times row two. Eight times row two gives us zero, negative eight, negative eight, zero, positive eight, and zero. So let's add those pink numbers together to get our new row two. Our new row two is zero, negative eight, zero, negative one, six, and negative one. I now have the zero here. Let's work on getting a zero in this negative three position. So I will take negative three times row three, add it to eight times row one. Negative three times our row three, we will have zero, zero, a positive 24, negative three, negative six, negative three. Eight times row one, we will have negative 24, 
16, negative 24, 8, 0, and 0. Add these pink numbers together to get our new row 1. We will have negative 24, uh, 16, 0, 8 minus 3 is 5, negative 6, and then negative 3. The next goal is to get this 16 to be a 0. So let's do 2 times row 2 and add that to row 1. 2 times row 2, we will have 0, negative 16, 0, negative 2, 12, negative 2. Adding those pink numbers to all of the numbers in row 1, we get 24, negative 24, 0, 0, 3, 6, and negative 5. All we're left with now is this diagonal, and we need to get our main diagonal to be all positive ones. So let's take uh, negative 1 over 24, multiply it by row 1, negative 1 over 8, multiply it by row 2, and finally negative 1 over 8, multiply it by row 3. And then we will have our final inverse matrix. All right, for this final step, I already went through and I multiplied the inverse matrix, or uh, our original matrix, which we're turning into the identity matrix. I already multiplied through uh, each one of those, but let's go ahead and multiply through to get to finish getting our inverse matrix on the right-hand side here. So negative 1 over 24 times 3 gives us a negative 1 over 8. Negative 1 over 24 times 6 gives us a negative 1 fourth. Negative 1 over 24 times a negative 5 will give us a positive 5 over 24. Completing row 2, so again, I already multiplied this through by the, uh, the negative 8 that was there. Multiplying this through, we end up with a positive 1 eighth, a negative 3 fourths, because 6 divided by 8 simplifies to 3 fourths, and it's negative. And then we will have the negative 1 times the negative 1 eighth, which gives us positive 1 eighth. And our last row here, negative 1 eighth times 1 gives us a negative 1 eighth. Negative 1 eighth times 2 gives us a negative 1 fourth. And lastly, negative 1 eighth times a positive 1, we have a negative 1 eighth in that final spot. So, in conclusion, our final answer for the inverse matrix 2a is equal to negative 1 eighth, negative 1 fourth, 5 over 24, positive 1 eighth, negative three-fourths, one-eighth, and the last row is negative one-eighth, negative one-fourth, negative one-eighth. Fix this matrix bar and extend that down. If you wanted to double check, go for it. You can multiply this inverse matrix by your original matrix A. You should get the identity matrix for a 3 by 3, which is that all 1s and zeros that you see here with the diagonal of 1s. And if you then multiply your given by the inverse, you should also get that identity matrix. Thanks for solving a 3 by 3 matrix with me. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button down below and I will be chatting with you later.